Hey guys, this is Jaden from iJailbreak.com and today we're going to be taking a look at a city tweak called Messages. So essentially what Messages is, is a Byte SMS alternative that implements in-app text replies a little bit more stock way than Byte SMS. So essentially, I'll sh I have the tweak installed, I'll show you guys the settings panel first. Um, when you first uh, download the tweak, what you're going to want to do is you want to set an activator action. So right now I have it to uh, long hold on the home button. So I'll show you guys if I do that, it's going to bring up the messages app interface, but it's going to be overlaid on top of the app I'm in. So it's not going to actually take me to the messages app. It's going to leave me in whatever app I'm in. And when I press uh, cancel or when I send my message, it'll take me back. As you guys can see in this case, I'm back to the settings app. So the settings are pretty simple. Um, we can change kind of the style of it. So we can go to a black style here. If we enable that, I'll show you guys. Now you can see that the messages interface has a black style, which goes well with my keyboard at the moment. Um, and then we can also adjust some things regarding replies. Uh, it has a notification center which as well, which I'll show you guys in a sec. But I'll show you guys what happens when I get a text message. Mm -hmm. So you can see when we get a text message, I can tap it and it brings me to that conversation. And once I'm done, I can either, well, I can reply. And once I'm done, I can press cancel. It takes me back to the app I'm in. Now, this also works everywhere in iOS, so it'll work in the lock screen as well. So I'll send myself another message here. Mm -hmm. All I can do is I can slide it, and it brings me up to the message interface. I can reply, press cancel, and it takes me back to the lock screen. You can also do the exact same thing through that notification center. So I'll send myself another mm -hmm. message, wait till it disappears, I'll swipe down the notification center, and you can see here if I tap on that, it'll take me to the same interface, and then once I'm done, I can press cancel, and back we go. So the reply settings I'll cover quickly here aren't anything too special. So by default, uh, the keyboard shows up. If I want the keyboard to not show up, when I go to reply to a text message, I can do that. Mm -hmm. So we have another message. As you can see, the keyboard doesn't come up by default. And then I can choose to show more of the conversation. So I'll go like five. And now if I send myself another one, mm -hmm. tap it. You can see it shows five of the last messages. As I mentioned previously, Messages does come with a notification center widget that I'll show you. If we go into the settings app and then the notifications tab and scroll down, um, you can see it's right here. It's called tap to messages. So I shall move that into the notification center. Oh, sorry, wrong one. And what we'll do is I'll bring down the notification center, scroll down here, and you can see that we have a tap to messages widget at the bottom. So when I tap this, it's going to bring out the interface that we're used to seeing that allows us to reply to messages inside the app we're currently in. And then once we cancel or reply, it brings us back to uh, the place we were previously. That's about it, guys. So as you can see, this is really uh, alternative to Byte SMS for those who maybe find Byte SMS a little bit too buggy or want a more stock implementation of how to reply to text messages or iMessages inside the current app that you're in without actually leaving it. It's available in the Big Boss repository for a price of $3.99. It does have a free three-day trial, which um, I was using at this point right here. Personally, I'm not a huge fan of messages. I do like how uh, it provides kind of a stock experience for in-app replies, but I still do prefer by SMS as it's a more powerful tweak. But I'm sure there's going to be a lot of people who prefer the simplicity of messages over by SMS. This has been Jaden from iJoeBreak.com. Make sure you check out the site for more Studio Tweak reviews and tech news.